The batch file processor in Peak Pro 6 is a powerful tool that allows you to process a large number of files at once. When I'm using mixes from Pro Tools, I like to take the dual mono files that were recorded back into the session and use Peak's batch file processor to convert them to stereo interleaved AIF before I bring them into Peak for the final mastering. When converting to AIF, I can also make sure the sample rate and bit depth are set to 44, 1, and 16, and I can normalize the files at the same time. To get started, in Peak Pro 6, the first step is to make sure Auto Import Dual Mono is enabled by going to the Options menu. Now go to the File menu and open the Batch File Processor. In Processes, I'll choose Convert Sample Rate, and I'll set it to 44, 1. Now I choose Normalize, and I'll set it to 99%. Now I click the Set button at the bottom to bring up the Save window. I'm going to choose my Save location. I already have a folder created to save these files to. I'll choose the file type as AIF, and I'll leave it at 16-bit. Now click Save. Because I'm using dual mono files, I'm going to tell the batch file processor to only open stereo files. That way they get processed as stereo. And then make sure you turn on the batch processor as well. At this point I'm ready to go. All I need to do is drag a folder onto the peak icon in the dock to start processing. The step where I enable process stereo only and auto import dual mono are only important when using dual mono assets. The batch processor in Peak Pro 6 can save you hours of time by automating otherwise tedious jobs like adding fades, normalizing, and saving large numbers of files. You'll be surprised how much you can get done while Peak does the work for you.